Good morning guys, how are you doing? It's about 10 to 5 in the morning here in Guernsey. No public transport to the airport, no taxi, so I'm walking all the way from St. Peter Port, about an hour and 20 minutes along these dark lanes. It is possible, if you've got hand luggage like me. But yeah, we're going back to the UK for the first time in a couple of months, so yeah, it should be fun this morning. Red eye flight. I managed to make it not a red eye by going to bed at eight o'clock last night, really nice and early. So it feels strange waking up in the dark after a good eight hours sleep. It's beautiful this morning, you probably can't see on the camera, but the sky is full of stars, as it often is here in the Channel Islands. Absolutely gorgeous. Luckily for me, despite the uh, lack of street lights that you find here in Guernsey, there's a nice big bright full moon for me tonight. Well, almost full. Love a full moon. This is very Guernsey, look. All the little until further notice signs telling you about roadworks with their little flashing lights so you don't crash into the little signs. You might be wondering why on earth am I booked on the red eye flight this morning? Well someone else booked it for me and uh, yeah I didn't realise there was no public transport available. I didn't really want to pay for a taxi 20 quid from town all the way to the airport and the roads are safe. I've showed you before that you can uh, quite easily walk from St Peterport to the airport, so I thought we'd do it. So I'm off to see the family and watch Gillingham play today. Should be fun. Of course, I said it would be 20 quid for a taxi, if you can find one, which I can't. And here we are at Guernsey Airport. Only an hour and 10 minutes later. And look over here, it's the highest mountain in Guernsey. My little flag has gone. Long taken, I guess somebody else liked the look of that flag. Isn't she beautiful? Mount Guernsey with the airport in the background. And yeah, it only really takes an hour and 10 minutes from town because actually Google Maps, if you're following that, will try and take you all the way down the end of the road down there, just past the airport. So I guess uh, if you want a more accurate estimate, type in uh, Guernsey Airport Departures or something like that. But actually it's quite good because uh, it gives you about 10 minutes leeway on what you originally thought your walking time was going to be. Right, Gatwick, here we come. Oh, look, hopefully the camera's showing that. Beautiful sunrise over Guernsey. You can't see the sun yet, but you can see the colors just peeking over the horizon at the industrial part of the airport. Wow, look how busy the airport is this morning. It's the busiest I've ever seen it. Morning, mate, you right? Busier than I've ever seen it here before, but admittedly, I've only ever flown to Alderney on one of these tiny little aircraft before not really during the peak hour so yeah here we go good friday busy flight look i didn't even realize we got to go through here look here we go finally through security it took about half an hour this morning quite a long time because there are two different scanners um the 920 dx and the 920 ct use the ct because you don't have to get your liquids out that's the one on the left as you go in so try and see if you can use that one right here's my little guernsey airport hack if you don't want to pay a ridiculous amount of money for a bottle of water in the cafe, come here to the duty free shop. Come through to this little area where there's all these uh, hoodies advertising some kind of gin and you can get a little can of water for just 60p, bargain. I'm only just through. I'm already boarding. Wow. Cutting it fine. All right, this little trip to the airport this morning has just got a lot better because this morning I'm finally getting to fly on the jewel in Orinese crown, the Embraer. Look at this, 195. I think it's the only plane in their fleet with enclosed propellers. Look at that. Beautiful Guernsey flag on the side. Up we go. Now oh, this is fancy. It's a lot different to flying to Alderney. Oh, look, I must have done something uh, good in a previous life because I've got an extra legroom seat for no extra cost. Here we go, nice and comfortable. It's not the sexiest aircraft in the world, but yeah, comfortable. You can see why this is the jewel in Orini's six strong fleet. Bye-bye, bye-bye.
Something a little bit annoying about the baggage reclaim here at Gatwick is that uh, for the domestic flights, because Channel Island flights are treated like domestic flights, um, where you stand to collect your bags, there's no toilet, so you have to walk all the way down this corridor back to the toilet and then go all the way back to get your baggage if you need to go. That's why I usually just travel without baggage. Look, nothing coming through yet. I had luggage added on for this one, so I felt kind of obliged to take my winter clothes back to the UK. Well, after so much time spent in the little Channel Islands, it feels so big here, so busy, so stressful. <laughs> and it's relatively calm for Gatwick, I tell you. What's a bit annoying is I've already got my ticket on my phone. Well, I've already paid for it in advance, but I don't actually have the ticket on my phone. I can't do one of those uh, QR codes. I've got a code which I need to use to pick up from one of these machines. Why I can't just do it, why they couldn't just send me a QR code and I could go through, I don't know. It's a bit annoying. So there we go, guys. Finally got my train ticket and uh, ready to head off uh, to Gillingham to watch the football now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this little random unplanned adventure with the Embraer flight and early morning walk to Guernsey Airport. Treaded the peace and tranquility of the Channel Islands with the hustle and bustle of London. I would say I'm glad to be back. But I'm missing my little islands already. All right then, guys. <laughs> See you on the next one, take care. I remember the good old days when this airport was really well organized, but now we've just got, uh, I've tried to go through the gate and it said seek assistance. So I'm standing there like a lemon in front of everyone trying to get through and I've got to ask some guy to let me through. It's nuts. Gatwick never used to be like this, what a shame. Oh, there we go, that's a lot better. I've walked down the end of the platform, train just coming into Cambridge. Found a little spot in the sun, away from all the crowd on my improvised little seat, on my, uh, on my checked in bag. So there we go, guys. In a much better mood when the sun's out. Office, Earl Swift, Red Hill, Hurley, 